Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yes, as you can see, I have uh, done a little bit between episodes. Mostly, I made myself some more gates. But also, while those gates were cooking, and I have more on the cooker, I just made a ton and, you know, just wanted some in my pocket. I actually debugged the pulsar on this thing. So, it turns out that the problem was... Well, I, I'll, I'll probably tell the usual crowd when they stop around. <clears throat> So, today, also I loaded up the mechanical artisan with some goods. Today, we have a couple of tasks that we want to get to. Now that we have more power, it's time to start utilizing it, getting some more excavators down. So, we're going to want redstone, we're going to want kimberlite, and we're going to want gold. I think those are the three resources I'd like right now. Which one would I like to do first? Um, of the three of them... Yeah, I think gold is going to be the most essential simply because we're using it for so much transport pipe right now. So, let's get out ye oldie book. Oh, also, I rebuilt the Faraday suit because I was getting low on durability. Repair my tools. Usual maintenance stuff. So, 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 so. Ye oldie book. Remind me what goes into a scabby boy. One redstone, nine light, five heavy. Easy as you pleasey. One redstone, nine light, and five heavy. Yes, we have a little bit of supply built up right now. We're also going to need, of course, three radiator blocks. Just take out that... Uh... Mm. Yeah, I think we have enough packed ice to to get us all the way up to uh, where we need to go. Oh, I also could have taken supplies out of here. But I am going to need some scaffolding. And don't forget that I'm going to need more for uh, for the next stage of things. As well as sheet metal. I don't have steel sheet metal. Let's just make a ton. I'm probably going to end up using all of it sooner or later anyway. There we go. I believe it said 16, 15. There we go. Get that crate on down there. Just pack this up in a box. Yeah, so we got the engineering blocks and sheet metal done. Now we're going to need three radiator blocks, which is just going to be a ton of piping. And a little bit of all of uh, a bunch of other stuff, I think. I need to get some more supply of steel in here. Hmm. Iron is running a little bit low. Did I turn the iron... Yeah, I turned the iron back on. So that should be refilling over time. Yeah, nickel is going to start being wasted pretty soon. I don't think I feel bad about it. It's just nickel. Yeah, we're going to need some copper. And let's pick up just a couple of stacks of iron, too. Backpack, save me from this tyranny. Come on. There we go. Ah, yes. Also, I've allocated all memory possible to the game right now. That Java would let me. And we're running maybe a little bit smoother. It's kind of hard to tell. But maybe just a little bit. Just a tiny bit better. So, uses for these in Engineer's Workshop. That'll just make me those three radiator blocks. Excellent. And then, I should just need a ton of scaffolding. Let's see, I'm going to need a total of 6 for this, and a total of 20 for this. So 26 in toto. So, 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 just need 
those steel rods need a little bit of steel ingot. And then we just kind of go. 6, 12, 18, 24. Good enough. All right. And finally, we're going to need, I think it's nine blocks of steel. Which we should have built up over from our smelter system over here. Yeah, we have almost a stack of steel blocks already. This is going wonderfully. And just remind me, that is nine, right? Right. Okay. Next, we need to make a smelter for it. Yep, that's probably the tougher part of the craft now, isn't it? Making the smelter to go along with the new... With the new uh, system. Ah, time to get some more twine. It's been a while since we visited the hemp field, hasn't it? Let's just get a tool stick. Hmm, you know... I probably don't even need to visit the hemp field. I imagine that our biodiesel system has tons of it backed up now because yeah, it's probably it's probably outpacing the carpenter or at least close to. So, let's just steal a stack from here. There we go. That's enough twine to last for a good little while. And then we just start making those furnaces again. Good old familiar pattern. I'm still debating on if it's worth automating that or not. It would mean I'd have to automate, like, refractory clay. I need to figure out a way to automate sticks. I think that there's nothing I can't do. It would just be a lot of work for something of potentially dubious gain. Hello, Blood Devon. Welcome to the stream. So, I've got some good news for you. You remember that uh, redstone pulser on the smeltery that was giving me a ton of headaches? I figured it out. I figured it out. The whole problem was that um, the input, orange input over here, was touching the white outputs over here. So inverting the signal was meaning that it was trying to be on and off at the same time. So I just had to move the switch around so that, uh, yes, it is no longer jank. If I can throw something in there, um, I guess... I need to make some seared brick right now, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might as well fill the old smelter up. Just kind of limp our way over to the table. Okay. Yeah, if I just uh, make all these plates over here. Because we are in the process of making a smelter, if you can't tell from the tinder in my pocket. So we might as well make some more brick and stuff. Once that melts down, I'll show you that um, the pulser is working as exactly as I was hoping it would. And when it shuts off, it actually shuts off. So that's, that's wonderful news. But yes, right now I'm working on an excavator to get me some more gold. Yes. Smelter and excavator is what we're working on right now. More gold. Speaking of, if I'm getting some gold, that means I'm going to need a place to put it. So, need to... Let's see, I have some sheet metal in there. Just need to finish filling it out with, like, one of these. There we go. Then, 
Oh, had some in here too. Sweet. Okay, so that's 50 sheet metal. Then I just need the fencing, which I don't seem to have anywhere. Well, let's put that away. Then how much treated wood do I have? Not much. Well, thankfully I've been running the sawmill, uh, but I put jungle wood in. Still, I have a couple of stacks of this. Wait a minute, didn't I make a ton of treated wood? Did I put it in a box or something? I guess I spent it all on something or another. All right, and it looks like I've got treated wood already queued up for heaven knows what reason. So let's just... Wait, how am I doing on ash? I'm okay on ash. There, that's a stack of treated wood. Has this finished yet? Yes. So, now, if I put the pulser on, it pulses like I would hope. And when I turn it off, it just stops. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. It works just perfectly. So let's get some more blocks on the cast. And let us make that fence post for the silo. So, dip, dip. And... Shib a dip, dip, dip. And a flabbity blue bop. And, but yes, um, the only missing step was I just needed to move, to move the, um, the orange input here so that, that it was no longer adjacent to one of the white outputs there. Otherwise, it was exactly from my one attempt that went awry and short-circuited. The only difference, um between the original setup is just that um, the white input is on a inverter now. So that when the when the loop is locked into an on position, the white input is locked to off. And that is enough to have it functioning exactly perfectly. Why you know. Oh. That was silly. Okay, so, 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 so. What was I doing? Um, I was making a smeltery. Right, 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 right. Okay, so, need to make those four furnaces. For that, need these masonry bricks done. But how you been, Devin? It's always good to see you around. Okay, so... Gonna need probably more pulp than this. But let's see if what we've got can work. Also probably... Yes, yes. Ah, right. Our fence post is done, so let's put the silo up. I can probably just put this in my bag. There we go. I'm also debating on maybe moving these transport pipes to the underbase if possible, and then just using this area to make more machines instead of using this as kind of a transport layer. That might be sensible depending on just the level of spaghettification in the underbase right now in that area, if it is reasonable. Oops. Come on. There we go. Alright. But just get together and nice silo for the sake of storing the glod. Beautiful, tasty glod. It's good for you. Alright. And 
probably just want to keep my hammer in my inventory for the next little while. All right, and let's go ahead and get the transport layer set up ahead of time. So I need to poke a hole in the top down there. <laughs> yes, it's it's the horrible temptation. At, at least at least this particular stream, there's not going to be too much interesting going on, Austin. This is just me. Essentially, I'm going to be putting down a couple of excavators and smelteries today. Just getting the last of the resources and infrastructure down before we can start making actual advancement. So, uh, I don't blame you if you just put me on as background noise. Hey, it's 2.37 a.m. for me. Okay, brick. Need brick. Okay, and you, you, you. Ah, good, I don't think I'm gonna need more pulp than that. There we go. And then make those. Next up, gonna need to make some more refractory clay. Well, I should have some supplies still in. Eh, I've got some. We might as well, I suppose. That's probably enough, to be honest. Just for the purposes of uh, making... making the immediate goal. Do you? you done? Ah, it just takes several seconds. Cool. I might need a bit more pulp. And for me, for me, I'm kind of all over the place. I, I'm kind of nocturnal by default, but right now I'm living most of my life during the daytime. So kind of what I do, because this late night hour is the only time I have... Uh, peace and quiet. The house is very noisy the entire rest of the day. So what I do is I go to bed real super early and I get like a four or five hour nap. Just like a good couple hours. And uh, then I wake up to do the stream before I go back to bed again for another couple hours nap. That is how I'm living the life right now in order to uh, produce content. Simply because the damn house is so noisy during the day. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to need to make some more refractory clay. Or at least some more slaked limestone. That's no problem. We'll just make a ton. Yep, just throw it all on in. And didn't I? No, I didn't have any slaked lime in here already. Yeah, I think just get me one stack of it and I'll be good. The rest will just have piled up for later use. Ah, good, and I had some in here already. Simply because we always get a little bit of change. And then, like so. And then, like so. Just casually throw together a stack of refractory bricks. That's always a very empowering feeling. How are we doing on fuel for this thing? It's going to need some more. So, just a few... Uh, do I have any more charcoal chips anywhere? I should. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And all the brick I should need. So, dup, dup, dup. 
get it up to 16 of those. He indeed. That's kind of why I, I'm futzing back and forth on whether I should make a full automation for furnaces. I mean, I think I've built most of the furnaces that I'm going to need at this point. But on the other hand, it, it's kind of like there's always seems to be you need a few more. You need a few more. They're not hard to build, though, and they're kind of situational. So I, I'm going back and forth on whether I just want to have a chest of auto furnaces or not. It would probably... It would be debatable on if it would save me more time than it cost me at this point, I think. Unless there's going to be some huge use for furnaces later on. And if there is, then that'll be a perfect excuse to automate it, and I might have better tools for automation by then. Okay. So, just grab some of our sear bricks that we have in here. Also grab... Do I have any glass in here? No. So grab some out of here. Just two pieces should do us. And I'm not going to bother making any more casting tables for now. I'm just going to grab some out of here. I do, however, need to make some more ingot casts. So let's just make a total of six of those. And use, I don't know, iron as, as our cast. Ah, need to turn the block caster off before things get out of hand. And there we go. So just give that a pulse. And I am so pleased that this pulsar is working now. I am just pleased as punch that this system, that my smeltery finally operates in a nice, sane manner. Get these casts in a box before I get infected with something. And let's just make the rest of our smelter and get the blocks casting again. Alrighty then, so... Da, 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 da. First, make two sear tanks. Then make two sear drains. Then let us just make the controller. So, da, da, da. controller. Oh, right, I need to melt 12 dirt. I keep forgetting that. Not a huge deal. Oof, looks like a storm's a brewing. I really do. I, I, I enjoy a good storm. Okay, turn that off once more. Yep, good old dirt block. Or rather, dirt brick, yes. Huh. Is that a water spout? I don't think I've seen that weather pattern before. Not outside of the test world. The one time I invoked the apocalypse to see if it was weather that was damaging the Faraday suit. Huh. Neat. Alright. And get dirt brick cast. One. Two. Three. And off you go. Excellent. And then we can take our heater, turn it into melter, turn it into smelter. All right, and now all we need is a bunch of seared brick.
of which we have a lovely supply. Excellent. So let's just get our... Uh, get the chisel out. Prettify it. Sure, we'll get all of it. Why not? Well, there goes that unusually well-targeted hail again. Ah, good old hail. It always seems to find its way right to my head. Thankfully, I should have some aluminum plate to build a new to build a new helmet just right in the box over here. Maybe I'll just keep that helmet in my pocket until the hail is completely done. Because we know how quickly that can, uh, that can repeat itself these days. All right, so, 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 I think I've got everything I need. Now all we need to do is find ourselves a likely looking gold pile. And I want it to be relatively close to Utilidor. I think there's a gold deposit that's in line with the, uh, the line going to the copper mine. Let's see here. So line ourselves up with there. Let's see, no mineral, lapis, I suppose we'll want that eventually. There's gold. Wait, is the excavator bucket empty? Put our helmet on because we're going to be in... Okay, your power is connected still. Huh. Is the copper exhausted already? It has not been that long. It's been mining for maybe, what, 10 hours in total? It has not been mining for that long. Yeah, what? Okay, let's get the core sample drill and let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I mean... Okay, that chunk... That wasn't exactly a virgin chunk. That was a chunk that would be loaded and unloaded as I was, like, visiting the village. But that shouldn't be a chunk that it was, like, constantly loaded. Not to the point that, like, it was close to being dead, you know? Okay, get, like, just some HV wire. Get there. Cool. Let's just go to that... Let's just go back and uh, do a little core sample and see what's going on. Austin, if you're listening, what did you say the decay time was on um, how long before before the copper would decay? Because I don't see how this chunk could have been loaded for more than, I don't know, maybe 12 hours in total. At most. Okay, give power. Sample. It, wait, but then that means that there's like, wait, what? Yeah, it's just no mineral now. So it, it when does the decay time start? Does it start when you take the sample? Because if just all the chunks in the world are on a time limit, then, like, how the hell are you supposed to be able to mine anything before it all just dies? Huh. Well, I guess there's no reason to run it anymore, I guess. Okay, okay, so I guess that definitely means that all my autonite chunks that I've sampled are dead too, then, aren't they? I was hoping that I could mine this one next. Huh. Well, that sucks. 
<sighs> Still, I mean, hmm. Yeah, I could. I am in the area. Okay. Well, we won't need more copper for a little bit. We've got an okay supply. Like, um, let's see, can I? No, I can't. Let's just um, take this off. Yeah. Reroute power. Um, let's see here. We've got about 16,000 copper in the silo last I looked at it, I think. And how much copper ore do we have? Let's see, 1,500 and 500. So we've got, we've got about 2,000-ish ore in here. And let's see here. I think Azerite. Yeah, so that Azerite will be 10 worth. I think Malachite was um, worth something like 8 each, too. And I think that in a smeltery, yeah, these double. So let's see here. So that's going to be worth about, let's see here. That's going to be about 10,000 copper ingots. That's going to be about, um, let's see here, 8,000, 1,200. That's going to be like 24,000 copper ingots. So I've got about like 34, 35 ish thousand copper sitting in the silos over here, plus the 16,000 in my silo back at home. So I've got, call it maybe 50,000 ingots of copper to use right now before I'm out. Uh, regardless, sample. Wait, why you know sample? I know. I mean, that won't last forever, but it should last an okay amount of time. Okay. Yep, yeah, the Autonite is dead. The Autonite is dead. Well, shoot. Okay, so now I know... Yep. Okay, 50,000 copper. I guess we'll have to see if that lasts long enough for us to get some more stable source. Yeah, and let's just take that down. Oh dear, I'll be right back, everyone. All right, I'm sorry about that. Had another uninvited guest that needed to be escorted out. Wood roach season. Gotta love it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave this system in place. Let it uh, empty out. And we'll just have this in place as uh, infrastructure to be moved if we need more copper. Uh, the rest of these systems don't really need power. No, those need power. Those need power. So, can I just uh, take it directly off of here? Cool. So, uh, yep, yeah, we've got um, maybe a grand total of 50,000 copper to play with. That's not terrible. Oops, wrong. No, not, yeah, wrong bag. I think 50,000 copper should last a little while. Regardless, let's get the gold set up and let's just leave that copper in place until those silos are completely empty. At least it means that we have more power to play with in total. So, uh, book, 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 book. Take out book. Remind me how build excavator. Eh, 
And also remind me what kind of room I have to build excavator. Oh, I got plenty of space in this chunk. Yeah, and only take samples when we need to. Ah. <sighs> At least this is all advice I can pass on to uh, the next person down the line who would be uh, a 12th century fox right now. He's the, uh, he's the newbie. Because I can't find any other way, any other source of uh, where I could find this information in game. So this just has to be lore we all share to each other, I guess. But uh, so it goes. All right, so... Let's see here. I'm going to need to be at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go nine blocks away from the chunk edge right there. So that is just stop you. So radiator, then an L shape of sheet metal. And then it is the three and three of scaffolding. Uh, no, to my knowledge, only only copper and autonite. Only copper and autonite. Uh, autonite is radioactive stuff. It gives you uranium and ylorium. There, just like so. And then we go redstone heavy. Um, I mean, the Autonite kind of makes sense. It at least would have a mechanism for having a half-life. I still don't know what, if any, geological process would justify the cop the copper, though. To my knowledge, I don't think there are any common isotopes of copper that are radioactive in the wild. Okay, three heavy down that way. Then those. Fair enough. Fair enough, Austin. That is justification enough. And heavy there, light there. Uh, the rest is just, oops. Dip, 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 and dip, and that should hammer. It do, great. So next, We just start up on the good old fashioned big old pinwheel. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. And then the under dupe. What do you mean? Why why would uh, Malachite give you less than Azurite? I don't know. It just be that way. I'm not even sure if that was a setting done by Austin or by Geolosis either. Maybe it's because Malachite is just, uh, it uses the Latin root for evil or bad. So of course Malachite is gonna be worse. It's the bad stuff. Yeah, that's a justification.
Okay, and that should... Other side. Hammer! Sweet. Hammer! Sweet! All right. Now you, Mr. Chunk Marker, you get in the corner and you think about what you've done. Yeah. Oh, neat. Is it just because you get less as a right, so it should be the more valuable thing for balance wise? Make you want it more? Ah, nice. Oh, right. Crusher. Forgot to build a crusher for this thing. Well, that'll be a real quick job. I think I have all the glue in place, and that's usually the thing that takes forever. Now, uh, the crusher and running the logistics lines, so really all the big jobs are done. Or, or you, you know what I mean. Okay, so, gonna need... I might need more glue than that, come to it. Well, that's not a huge deal these days. We have all the parts of it kind of already automated, so... Let's just make some more glue, just on general principle, even if I don't really need it. Hello, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Lovely to see you here. I am just in the middle of um, getting some gold automated. Also, I got the inside scoop on how ore degradation works from Austin just now. So, the timer on when ores begin to degrade starts when you take the ore sample. And it'll keep on ticking down. It, it, I think it's just like some sort of check to the game clock itself because it'll keep on going whether you are chunk loaded or not from there. So, only do your ore scanning when you need to. Once you have all the all the things that you intend to start mining for the immediate future, that is when you should stop. So keep that in mind. And um, any any malachite, azurite, or autonite that you have scanned so far is is uh it's on a time limit. It's it's days are numbered already simply by the fact that you know it's there. So be wary of that. Keep that in mind. It is the core sampling that causes the degradation to start. Oof, yeah. Well, I just found out that um, after maybe 12 hours of being loaded, my uh, my copper vein that I was mining is already dead, and the neighboring autonite chunk that I was lying that I was eyeing up is also already dead. Ah, uh, let's just have a nice wood shower to forget our troubles. Shower ourselves in lovely, lovely wood. It's it's so cleansing, so stress relieving. Yeah, yeah, the copper. Or or it could be like oxidation, yeah. It's been sitting there untouched for eons, and 
then we're all rude and we poke an air hole in it and it just starts it just starts flaking away Although, if we're if we're going on lore that the Autonite is uh, going away to radioactive decay, then I'm not sure how poking an air hole makes any difference in that process. Maybe it's because rainwater gets into the tiny sampling hole, and it's like it's like causing it to erode into each other and concentrate and become more critical. Kind of like those uh, naturally occurring nuclear-powered uh, hot springs. Who knows? Who knows? This world is mysterious in very many ways. Yes, just load this on up into the charcoal burner, into the creosote machine. I think I'm close to a full tank of creosote now. Yeah. So that's probably going to jam up before it's before it's done. But mostly I just wanted that wood to make myself a little bit of wood pulp for the glue. Alright, and also those. Uh, why do I have spare tinder? I must have picked it up from like one of my just ambient heat sources or something. And then just build up all the wood pulp that I've got. And uh, that's going to need eight more water, isn't it? Exactly. We're overbuilding it, but there's no such thing as overbuilding when it comes to glue. It's not just helpful, it's recreational. Oops. Not you. You. And I'm also going to need to go and pick up a lovely pile of blood. Still not sure why the... Uh, red line isn't operating like it should. And finally, once we get the pulp happening again, I'm gonna need to go and pick up a bunch of clay. Uh, there are horses. Just, um... In, let's see, the most convenient place to find them would be in this barn down here next to the big farm field. There are some horses down around there, sure. But no, the, the glue we're making is a bit less, uh, it's a bit less, it's a bit more vegan than that. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess that depends on the source of your slime. The fact that I'm getting all my slime from human blood is uh, probably not vegetarian friendly. I mean, I guess it depends on if, according to vegetarian morality, humans count as animals. Hmm. There's a philosophical issue for you. They refuse to eat innocent animals 
because you know they're they're just uh they're just um not on the same level of us they they think that uh they think that they're deserving of protection instead of exploitation but uh on the other hand well humans are by definition on our level so they must be fair game right yeah By vegetarian morality, it might work. It might work, depending on your reason for vegetarianism. Whether it's for moral reasons or just diet reasons. We consider interesting problems on this channel, I tells you. Okay, so now I'm just going to need a ton of, uh, you know, I'm just going to take a stack of each. Get this whole system just creating some more for me. Do I need any heavy blocks in order to make a crusher? Uh, no. Cool. But yeah, I'll just have these blocks in storage and let the machine restock. Might as well keep a stock now. So, two of those. Teen of those. Hmm. Yes, yes, I'm 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 sure. I'm sure. But the question is, were they actually wrong? That's the question to keep you up at night, I tells you. Okay, hoppers. Nine. Oh, right, chests. Need to actually make chests for these. Always forget that fact for some reason. How am I doing on chests? I should have. I have exactly nine. Let's make some more chests. I should have some nuggets in here still. Yeah, cool. All right, and then. And I've got a goodly supply of planks in there. If I get one more stack or two or... Let's just make a bunch of chests. There, that should exhaust that pile of nuggets, but I think I have some more. There we go. And then how am I doing for wood planks? I can make at least five more. Just make a few chests to go around, you know? We're using them kind of everywhere. Okay. Eh, I think I can make one more set of five. There we go, 30 chests. And now we can make a bunch of hoppers. Oh, right, iron. There we go. And we even have a spare redstone control block. So now all we need to do is take the additional mechanisms out. So, to make Crucer, we need, let's see, 8 steel fence, 10 light, and 10 scaffolding. And da, 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 10 light. And 10 scaffolding I'm going to have to make. You know what, let's just leave those rods in there. This is where we use them most frequently anyway. All right. As well as the fencing, right? 
Uh, did I already put the steel away, or did I? Ah, it's in there. Cool. Steel fence. Three, six, and nine of them. Excellent. And that should be everything. Cool. And that should be everything we need to set up a gold industry. I think that I should even have enough pipe because we're right on the uh, line leading up to the copper. The unfortunately now defunct copper, I should say. So, first question is where do I want to run power? Second question is where do I want to build the crusher? Okay, so I think I'm going to want to build the crusher like kind of... Well, how much space do I have back here? Okay, so I guess I'll have the crusher sitting here facing this way, and I'll make a smelter in that corner there. That sounds like a plan. So, crusher. Let's see here. Output is on that end with the two lights, if I do recall. So... Just need my lights, need my scaffolding. Let's leave two spaces in the center there. Well, no, I think I could get by with only one space there. And let's move it a bit forward just so that it's not... Um, yeah, let's kind of align this right here. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. And look at that, that fits the chunk pretty darn well all right and also let's uh, get this chunk this chunk is already loaded cool all right now i think the only thing i don't remember is where does the dang redstone control block go it goes at the far end over there so there and there there all around. And then the nine hoppers. And that should hammer. Yep, it do indeed. Okay, so next, loading and control systems. Gonna need at least two of those. Gonna need a couple pulsers. Gonna need a couple of gates. And gonna need a bunch of pipe wire. Little bit of golden transport pipe. So. Extractor here kind of just run on over. I don't know if the pipe can actually insert right there or not, but I'm just going to block it for the sake of pretties. We might as well have it pointing in kind of the... Uh, the most obvious pretty looking way, you know? Okay, so... Output chest for the crusher there. Also gonna need some structural pipe. So... Haberdashery is the, um, the fine art of creating hats. As for why your autocorrect is correcting hammer to haberdashery, that is, uh, that is, I don't know. I don't even know what that says about you. That is an entirely odd occurrence. Okay, so I can take a structural pipe over there. Oh, right, and this needs 
This needs a little spot of uh, redstone on it. Right. I keep on forgetting that. Next time I build one of these, need to remember that I need to bring a piece of redstone dust. Because for whatever reason, the Crusher doesn't like receiving signals directly off of gates. Well, you've, uh, your autocorrect has given you an unofficial word of the day then. Yes, haberdashery is the uh, artisan work of creating fine hats. Beautiful, wonderful, fancy hats. You can, you can take that word to your friends and find a reason to squeeze it into conversation somewhere and feel very, feel very erudite, feel very, uh, feel very, uh, educated, yes. All right, so, let's see here. I think gate on this side, pulsar on this side. And then that should allow me to run blue cable up and over, right? Cool. So gate over here. You are going to say, well, let's see here. So you are going to say when you contain less than 75% emit blue signal. You are going to say when blue signal off, transmit redstone. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's not like you're, it's not like you're in a college course or anything. It's not the type of education that subverts you. It's life experience. Okay. You are going to say... When blue signal off, pulse the pipe. Actually, do I want to even control this based on this? I think I might just leave this on. Yeah. I think this might just be an always on. However, what I do definitely... Let's move that pulser to a more convenient spot so I can run it up and over. Because I do definitely want blue pipe going up there over down and a gate on here saying when pipe blew off emit redstone so that way we have logic saying that when the crusher's output is full the crusher and excavator will turn off that should be a sufficient level of safety now I need to get a power nipple up here. That shouldn't be too much of trouble. Yep, we're getting yellow rain because there is lots of sulfur in the sky from that oopsie I did with the uh, with the copper smeltery. Which I need to make a filter so that we do not repeat that. Alrighty then, so, 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 HV connector over there. Can I just get wire up to it from any convenient nearby source? Eh, neither of those are terribly close, but maybe this will sneak around. Yeah, cool. Good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. We only let it emit full pollution into the air for what, like an hour or two? It's fine. It's just kind of turning all the grass into podzol, turning the rain into piss yellow acid rain. 
it's it'll 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 eventually calm down. It didn't cause any of the bad chunk effects or anything. It's fine. Uh, I guess it doesn't allow a pass through on grass blocks. So need to turn this into Oh, it's because it's because of that. It's because it was too dang low. All right, I might need to uh I might need to make a relay after all onto this just because just because of all the stuff in the way. That's fine. We've got lots of relays. So, you to the relay, relay to the other relay. That should have connection. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's fine. All the kids' hair falling out, pff, it's just gonna encourage a new fashion. We're being, we're being cultural, we're being cultural icons here, you know? We're, we're inventing entire new Entire new fashions. So I think that is the one. Yep, pass through, sweet. So then I guess I can put, let's see, a relay like right up here so that it can get onto the cruiser. And then just over onto the scabby boy. Ah, uh, it's digging up a little bit of dirt because I didn't quite dig the uh, bucket in deep enough, it looks like. But once it clears that out, then um, also I need to turn F7 mode on and uh, make sure that the area under there is all lit up. Yes, should keep F7 mode on by default, always. Okay, there we go. We've got gold ore being produced. And these dirt clumps that had just crushed up by accident are uh, incidental victims. It's fine. Okay, so next, we need to build the smelter in place. Get that hooked up to the logistics network. And uh, get a little bit of water, too. Uh-oh. In the fort? Okay, so let's despawn those and pick up some more torches. And then let's tour the fort and see when we can find out where they were spawning. Because angels in the fort is bad news. Monsters in the fort is bad news. At least this, the um, the jump scare noise from the angels is always a very quick and easy notification that something is going very wrong nearby. Run a little further just to make sure everything is despawned. That should be sufficient. <laughs> nothing. The dirt did nothing, Devin. That's why it's a victim. I mean, I guess a victim doesn't need to be innocent and uninvolved to be a victim, but it's usually the case, you know? But yeah, we don't want monsters spawning in the village. Because if one of them spawns with the wrong disease and spreads it to the villagers, I've seen cases of diseases just being circled constantly through the village, never ever leaving. So, where was that spot? Not in the storage room. Not in the bedroom. Maybe on the roof? Hmm. 
No, I'm not seeing it on the roof. Ah, okay. It's these, uh, it's these battlements over here. This dirt pile, grass pile, whatever. Okay, that is hopefully covered. All right, let's get rid of that waypoint and let's build us a smelter. So, where's the box? So, 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 let's start with a nice footprint. Just maybe... Maybe that big, four by four. Eh. It's kind of the traditional default size, I suppose. Because making a smeltery that uh, eats an entire stack at a time is kind of a good size, you know? Yes, yes, I'll I'll uh I'll go build a filter real quick. Good idea, Devin. Good idea. Defo good idea. All right, so it might be time to go and pick up some more diamonds from the abyss pretty soon. I've got a few bar, but not much. Should have more than enough iron in storage, though, to make up for the gap. Yeah, just make however many that'll give me. Because iron right now is cheap and plentiful. And then I'm going to need nine wool. And then falter. Put away tools as they try and sneak into my pocket. Throw out some of this dross I've picked up. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, how's our how's our pollution filter stack doing? Oh boy. We have pretty much a full silo of wool. That is lovely. Not to mention the buffer storage sitting in all the chests every every uh at every split along the wool line. So yeah. I, I don't think having wool in stock for pollution filtering is gonna be a problem. We are we are um, using it at such a slow rate. Really, I should probably consider wool to just be another building block right now. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so, 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 so. Um, the obvious spot for the controller, for which I'm also going to need one of the drains is going to be right shmya, just dead in line with the extractor pipe. And we want a drain just right on the side of it for reading the tank level. Speaking of a said tank, uh, where would be the most convenient spot for lining it up with the utilidor? Let's see here. It would probably be on this side. Like, or maybe right here. Let's see here. 
Does this line up with the Utilidor from underneath? Let's go see. It's close. It's very close. Hmm. But no cigar quite. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like I need to expand the Utilidor a little ways that way. Just a little kind of tiny line, so... Line up. Ah, not even just one space. Cool. Not even an issue. Come on, you. Get in my pocket. So, just place the tank right there. And then get our lava pipe into it. Do I have fluid pipe on me? I do. Alrighty then. We might as well just even out that little alcove we accidentally made. And then, jump, get her down, then get her done. Easy as you pleasey. Okay, that's fuel. Next up, indeed, a veritable font of wisdom that he is. All right, so we have confirmed full smeltery here. So we're going to want transport pipe here and just a structure pipe here, I guess. Then we're gonna want a couple of gates. Let's see, I think I'm gonna need both colors of pipe wire for this. And one more gate than that. Just one of these to kind of use up my levels of, uh, my different types of gates evenly, I guess. Oh no, wait, it already has a logic gate on it, cool. All right, so we're gonna need gate here, gate here. You are going to need to run white cable over to there. Ah, it's already using blue cable, huh? Well, I mean, hmm. I guess it could use both of them, yeah. So you contain less than 50% emit white. You contain less than 50%, we'll just say emit white. And you say on white signal, pulse the pipe. But we are going to want to build up the smeltery and put the filter on it first. So let's just build this thing nice and tall. I can probably get this to uh, a full-size stack-at-a-time smelter, I think. Not that it'll ever be a stack full. And really, right now our limiter on um, production is how fast the how fast the pipe extracts. So yeah, there is no reason to build it that tall. We might as well save us some bricks. But let's at least get this thing lit up properly. Yep, that's working just fine. Works for me. Now, 
let's take the drain off of this side because we've got the most room over here. And then I should be able to put a chimney over... Am I out of chimneys? I am out of chimneys. Well, that's another reason not to use all of our bricks, because we're going to need to turn some of them into chimneys. Oh, yeah? I mean... Uh, I can't say I'm sorry to see it go. It's kind of a cool idea in general, but we're already living in a world where the ownership of software is such an issue already. Like, for so many game services... You, you don't really own your games. You just own a license to them. And if they ban you for any bullshit reason, then you can lose access to them. You can lose access to the products that you paid for. Or just if their server goes down. Or if your internet is down. And I, I support more owning things that you buy, you know? So, losing... A games as a service vendor. Yeah, I, I can't say I'm exactly sorry to see it go because that's just not a business model that I support very much. So I think that chimneys are built like this. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, cool. Hmm. At least you can be sure that you own actual hardware, huh? Might as well keep it daytime. Alrighty then. And now, after much derp, we should be able to put a chimney on just right here, I think. And this time, we will not forget the fact that we need to actually make an extractor pipe and a void on the uh, on the filter. So then extraction, pulser, void. And then we can just dip down into the into the utilidor once more. Just like right here should do. Actually, I can probably dig down more easily just directly off of it, shouldn't it? Because I think this is in line with the Utilidor. So it is. And then we need to make a split in the wool line right here. So we're going to need a chest. We're going to need a little bit of gate. We're going to need... Pulsers. And just break the line right here. Replace for chest. Gate over here saying win less than 50%. Summon wool. Extractor pipe on this end. With white pipe. Because our wool line is very nice and uh, white pipe wired up just to make it distinct from the usual riffraff. You say when white signal, power pulse. That'll keep the copper supply line running. And then I think I can sneak over these wires on this side. I think I can. So, extractor. Transport pipe. No, not quite. Not quite. It interrupted the redstone cable, it's looking like. So that's just going to need another connector like right there. Yeah, and see, because we interrupted that, we should now be seeing that copper is coming down the pipeline again. Because I had it turned off. So then right, right there... And then all the way downtown, over there, just reconnect the line. It's fine. Uh, 
Okay. Dup, dup, dup. And dup. And then we put pulsar and gate. And we say on white signal pulse pipe. And then we just climb back up again. Ah, lovely. It looks like the system is already pressurized. Yep. Okay, so we're going to need a pipe plug like right here. But the rest should be relatively free and clear. Okay. Then just need one more gate right on up there. Saying when inventory, let's just keep it 50% full. White pipe signal. Because we do got no buffer on this thing whatsoever. And it's not a super long line, but it has a little distance on it. So let's just not tempt fate. Give it a little bit of grace for the shut off signal. And just like that, we've got wool going into the filter. Oh, right. Do not uh, do not forget to prevent connection over there. Wasted a little bit of wool. Oh, what a tragedy. Some of our some of our 50,000 odd wool was wasted. It'll take a whole entire couple of seconds to regenerate. How how horrible of us. How wasteful. Okay. And I think that should be everything in place to turn the system on. So now I can say on white signal on this one, pipe pulse. And we should see the system start to fill up with liquid gold. Or rather with gold ore that turns into liquid. And I'll have to double check to make sure that uh, that this system's controls are working properly. I might need a third color of pipe wire. Or something. But we'll just make sure that it doesn't... Uh, that no trouble is incoming. So off of here, we're just going to have a liquid extractor. I forgot a liquid extractor. So it goes. Also, I think I forgot to program the uh, the input on the silo line. So we'll do that while we're in the area. So first of all, just put a little bit of a pipe sealant on our pipe. Second of all, get a Diamond pipe. Top up our gold pipe while we're here. We're also going to need a... I don't technically need a clay pipe because this won't be voided. But it's good practice. To remember that this is a place where I frequently use clay pipes. All right, and over here, get on down there, get me diamond pipe, and I forgot an ingot of gold to program it with. Can I do this off of any eye? Can I just like, no, I can't. I could swear that there was one mod or another where you could filter things by dragging them out of any eye onto it. Maybe that was one version of, of applied energistics or something. I don't know. Not a huge deal though.
and gold goes down white direction. And just like that, all we need to do now is make the casting system and hook it up. I need more hoppers. I mean, I technically don't. I could just use extraction pipe, but that's a little bit expensive and wasteful. So let's just build us some more hoppers. I need to throw some more wood in there. Because we're a bit low on non-jungle wood planks, and the jungle wood is entirely... I want to use that for just pistons. Oops. I think I just wasted some of those slabs. Oh well. Alright, so let's just grab some more sequoia wood, get it a rolling. on you get in there and in the meantime I'll just grab a stack of jungle wood we'll waste a little bit of it but yes definitely want to fix that problem for the future uh, sticks tier two and then make wooden hopper Not quite enough supply on there, but oh well. How's this system doing? Yep, it's already filled up all of those uh all of those immersive engineering blocks that we stole out of it. Well, already it's been a couple hours, but you know what I mean. It's lovely having processes happening in the background with our intervention. All right. So now just need to run back put that final extraction onto the system this is also probably giving it enough time to pressurize and we'll see how the filtration cutoff is working on it not good okay cool so I did something wrong here uh, you know what it is. Yeah, I do need I do need another color of pipe wire on it because because that ain't working. So I should have some black wire still from from the first prototype of the loading system for the um, for the assembler. Yeah. That'll do. Sure is. And it's only a tiny portion of the effectively... Well, let's see here. These... All of these mineral... All of these mineral chunks have uh, what? Oh, that's just molten diamond. I thought that was like a kimberlite or quartz. Let's see, if I look at, uh, this is a barrel, right? All these have like um, 384,000 ore in each and every one of them. And remember that the ore itself, if I look up like gold, and if, if I look up like malachite, or no, I can I can just um no, it extracts from here. 
But regardless, that translates into like several, that translates into several um, gold clusters and each one is also worth two ingots. So, so yeah, there's probably something like a million gold in this chunk. Thereabouts. Anyway. So let's have that one continue on as white. And this one will run down as black. So we'll switch this one to say when they're just black. We'll turn this logic off. And then, let's see, that's a crossover on the top side, isn't it? So I need to get under it. Oof, yeah. Nice. But yeah, I, I effectively think of um think of any excavated ore that doesn't rot as being effectively infinite. It's just a matter of getting throughput. So you are going to say oh, it needs to be an ore gate. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. So you are going to say when black off and when white off? Ah, uh, no. When white off and when black off. Then pulse the pipe. No, wait, on. When on. When black and white on pulse pipe. Yes. Cool. Okay, now we just need to extract the liquid out. Yeah. Well, iron's not a problem. Copper is a problem if it's a few thousand. Because remember, I determined that I have maybe 50,000 copper to play with before I need to search for another chunk. Okay, so da, 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 where are my tobbles? And then let's just uh, right off here, yeah. One, two, three. Let's not butt it up exactly like that. Let's see here, four, five, no. Yeah, a little bit awkward. Oh well. So then just dupe, dupe. Like a so, and then run pipe all the way down. And then it's just a matter of getting pulsers on. And this will just be constantly on. And that's making me gold, so we Then need to get hoppers on each and every one of these. Uh, let's run it down to the center-ish. So like there, then in there, then over there. And then I should be able to, let's see here. Yep. Okay, sweet. Never have to look very far for a utilidor. That's always the goal. And we're going to need an iron pipe on it over here for the join. good. It automatically knew the right direction to go for whatever reason, just blind luck. Uh, 
and then we can take the that off indeed all right and let's take a look at how our new filtration setup is working good that's exactly what i want to see and then we should see that it's going to build up, build up, build up, build up. And then when one of these conditions, it should stop. Yeah. And now we should see that it's rapidly slowing down. It's not overloading the gold on there. And it's, uh, it's just kind of, uh, it'll just, it'll just figure itself out nice and easy. Sweet. Sweet as... So we're going to need extraction pipe over yeah, And this will eventually be redstone controlled. I don't think I'm going to run the control for it down right now, but um, we'll just run this off of our usual rednet cable. Actually, I don't need to go far to run it. So yeah, I can just hook that up now-ish. But in the meantime, we'll just have this saying uh, when... When no redstone signal, pulse the pipe. And we should see gold starting to get into our system. If we just race it back. Just make sure every step along the process works as we complete it. have absolutely no faith in our ability to actually build a working system because we know we are an idiot. Oh, no, wait, that's sulfur. Where is the gold? Should be here shortly. Ah, there it goes. And in it goes. All right, we have beautiful, tasty gold, effectively unlimited amounts of it. So building gold pipes everywhere already wasn't much of a problem, but you've seen that I've occasionally had to go and like raid a ship to get more gold and we don't have to worry about that no more. We just have the gold in stock now. So just the cherry on top is we might as well run the uh, redstone controls off of this. So, first of all, over here on this side, let's see, our current most up-to-date color is yellow. Delicious, life-giving tripe. It's not gross, it's wonderful. I still say you need to be more adventurous with your food, Austin. We're just gonna need seven pieces of dust. And the reason I'm, I'm just laying this out is for when I have comparators. When I have comparators, a comparator facing off of this uh, silo will emit signal based on how full it is. And so a line of seven redstone dust will have the silo roughly half full. And this will just cause it to shut off automatically. So gold will be coated lime for whatever reason. I know. It's just organ meat, really. It's really just another type of organ meat. I guess some people are just squeamish about eating organ meat. I don't know, man. To me, it seems wasteful not to. But yeah, let's get this hooked up. Just get the signal going, just so we can test it on the other end.
And I don't think I'm really going to do anything. Yeah, I know. I know, right? If, well, I, I guess that with a hot dog with sausages, it, it's kind of like the, uh, you don't know and you don't want to know. You just tell yourself it's made out of prime grade cuts, you know? Sausage, sausage to the squeamish is, uh, is, uh, just lying to yourself. Lying to yourself the food. Okay, this looks like a good spot for it. So I'm going to put lime connector, like, right here. This is going to be channel lime. Uh, missed it. Lime and output. Cool. And then we just need to get us cable. Start a run in it. And yeah, that, that is villager safe. They can't wander into there. Okay. Now, let's see here. Gonna need to run it like right here. Now, can that see like, okay, maybe then if I poke it out just one over here, then can I just run it off of this? Looks like it. Beautiful janky wires. So wonderful. Oh, the rat's nest is getting beautiful down here. All right, and we should see if we go up here that because it now is receiving signal, then the extraction has turned off. And because of that, eventually the system will fully pressurize and liquid. It probably already has, yeah. So that's turned off, which has turned that off. Effectively, I now have a little switch back in my base that can turn this entire site off with a flick of a single lever. And isn't that just a wonderful feeling? We have remote control for our remote job sites. But yes, I definitely want this to be back on. All right. Well, <clears throat> kind of a short session today if I just leave it there. But you know what? I'm feeling kind of tired. And I still have some more syrup leaf to edit. And I don't have much buffer on that if I want to stick to my schedule. So... I think that that might be where we call it a night for today. Well, we've, uh, we, we've, I think, I think that's not bad. One episode, a couple of hours to automate an entire resource. I don't think that's a bad rate that we're going at. And the next couple of resources will be even easier because I think that's the last resource. Well, if I want 10. If I want to get tin to automate bronze, then that'll need a smelter too. We'll consider that when we consider that. But yes, uh, literally all redstone needs is just an excavator. Uh, then kimberlite is just going to need an excavator and a crusher. And those are the two big ones that are preventing our uh, resource, that are preventing us from doing quest uh, progress. So we're kind of, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're running out of resources in need of automation before we can start just chunking away at quest progress once again. Yeah. What did I fill up on in here? There. That's what I filled up on. So we are very much getting there. Very, very much so. Come on, you. 
I'll just put you in here because you are used as part of smeltery creation. Well, I don't know if we'll be just eating all the quests, but yes, we'll definitely be going through them pretty quickly once we get going. Well, in the meantime, now that everything's put all, all away, thank you all for joining me. Mr. Fancy Schmancy, it's beautiful seeing you here. I hope that, man, get yourself a laptop if you can. I want your series to keep on going. You build so damn beautiful, man. That that vision of beauty that you're building your base out, man, that needs to be realized. You need to get going, man. And uh, Blood Devon, thank you as always for joining me. Austin, thank you very much. I hope I'm not distracting you too much from your homework. Everyone, have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening, and I'll see you on the next one.